Hey guys, hope you're all doing very well. So before we get started, I want to thank all of you for your subscriptions, um, liking, commenting, sharing my videos. It really does mean a lot to me. I know I say it all the time, but it's true. And yeah, especially now because I feel like there are a lot of energies that are trying to keep certain messages from getting out. So, <clears throat> so yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, Alright, so today we're going to take a look at what is going on with the masculines who are involved in a karmic relationship or situation, as well as what's going on with their divine counterpart, right? You, the feminine. So, I do get that we're still in very intense or strange energies, like just feeling different, feeling new feelings, new emotions, new energies at play. Um, I, I do also get that there's quite a bit of confusion on both parts, all right, both for the masculines as well as for the feminines. And for the feminines, it's like trying to integrate different, different emotions, different feelings, different energies. Like on the one hand, I feel like a lot of you are in this process of accepting the situation for what it is, or on the one hand feeling like you don't you don't want this anymore for some of you all right not all of you and then it's kind of difficult to really process that and then on the other hand you still feel like there's this bond there's this tie that you know you feel like this this situation or this person will always be in your life so then you go back to that and it's a little bit of this back and forth and it can be quite um draining and also, there have been some triggers or there are triggers coming up, okay? Because the timelines are a little bit different for each of you and the timing can be a little bit different. So this could either have already happened, be happening now, or, or coming up for you, okay? Um, there's triggers where it's mostly so that it's like a test so that you can see where you stand when it comes to, to acceptance, basically, of of the situation and of letting go of control. Um, so for example, like, you know, you might get a trigger of rejection. The whole point of that is so that you can see how you deal with that. Like, are you going to be as triggered as you were in the past, for example? You know, can you handle it in a different way now than you did in the past? All right, so do keep that in mind as well. Um, and this can be true whether you are in contact with your masculine or even if you are not. And yeah, I think that's about it. So yeah, let's get started and see what is going on. We're gonna pull a few oracle cards for the masculines, take a look at their energy towards the karmic situation as well as towards their feminine, the feminine's energy, and then also what is coming up. All right, let's see. For the masculines. Ooh. All right, we have the moon, we have lust, we got quite a few that came out, and we have success. Okay, so like I said, I feel like there's a lot of, um, there's, there is a lot of confusion right now. There's a lot of trying to repress certain, certain emotions for the feminine, there's a lot of like lust, a lot of longing for their divine counterpart. But it's almost as if they're trying to push this out of their minds on the one hand. It's like two things happening and this is why they're confused. So just as you're going, you, you might be fluctuating with certain energies and trying to integrate them, so are they. For them it's a little bit different though because on the one hand it's like they're trying to mask the longing that they have for their divine feminine and then it's like they realize that they can't <laughs> and they want to be successful at that. It's like going back and forth between doubting themselves and feeling like they can be successful for what it is that they want. Kind of like, um, so if they're in a, in a karmic relationship, for example, it's like, all right, you know, since this is where I am, you know, this is obviously, this is my life right now, um, I, I will not think about the feminine, I will not think about him or her, um, and they try to repress those emotions, but then they find out that they can't. So they try to move forward, they want to be successful. And then when they see that, they, that they're not, that they're still where they were, 
they go back to trying to mask the feeling. So it's, it is, that's their confusion um, that I'm getting for this right now. Let's see, <clears throat> let's see what else. I feel like it's like this, it's like a little mini phase within like a larger phase that is ultimately um, trying to push them in the right direction. And I feel like they are um, because they, they, they're gonna keep getting nudged by the divine regardless. But what I'm getting mostly with this is that they can't escape their emotions. They can't escape how they feel. They can't escape what it is that they want, no matter how much they have tried to repress it, or even if they've gone back to trying to repress it. They can't. Let's see what else. Interesting. We have stuck and we have separation. This is exactly what I'm talking about. There's so much fluctuation right now that is driving them crazy. On the, okay, so on the one hand, they want a separation from the... It's like so many messages coming through. On the one hand, they want to separate from this karmic relationship. On the other hand, they're feeling stuck. And it's all in their heads, right? It's completely all in their heads. And on the other hand, they feel stuck with their divine counterpart the way that they feel because they're feeling that heartbreak of the separation that you are in all right even if you are in contact so it's like they're they're just being bombarded with like so many emotions and so many like conflicting feelings and it's like this fluctuation of back and forth back and forth back and forth eventually it's gonna have to level out okay so let's um get into the tarot So this is for their, um, the energy towards their karmic relationship. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse, we have the Two of Wands, and we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, okay, they're, <clears throat> they're at this point where, at the moment, they can't carry this burden anymore. Um, I feel like whatever... It's been such, they felt like they had such a responsibility for this connection, whatever it is, even if it was something casual. There's some responsibility because it's, it, in those cases where it might not be a long-term commitment, it's more of this responsibility that they feel towards something that was false within them, if that makes any sense. All right, now for those who were in a long-term commitment, well then, you know, this is, um, this makes a lot of sense. All right, and here's that two of wands, which is that back and forth that I've been talking about. They're, they're so tired of that back and forth. I, and it's like they're moving towards this releasing of even, trying to, of even trying to figure it out. And obviously, Ace of Cups in reverse, there's no love there. All right, there's, and not only that, it's like they're aware of that. They're aware that they are not being fulfilled on an emotional level, on a spiritual level. I'm getting even, not even on a physical level anymore. And so it's like they're just standing there looking at the situation, not really doing anything, feeling like I'm just so tired. I'm done. I want, I want this released off of me. And so they're just kind of sitting there looking at this loveless um, relationship. And if it's a situation, just take the messages as they apply or just, you know, interpret them as they make as they make sense. Don't force them. Obviously, if it doesn't make sense, it might not be your reading. It's not for your situation. Um, but I do read as if it's a relationship. All right, let's see what else. Four of Swords in reverse, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. Huh. Alright, so even though they're not doing anything right now, like physically, right? They're just standing there looking at the situation, they're feeling very restless. 
there's this restless energy that's associated with them holding on to this connection and it's almost like they don't know they, they don't even know why and I feel like this is really beginning to bother them and that's what this ten of wands is like they're just tired of being somewhere where they're not happy they're not being fulfilled they're not doing anything and so that's beginning to get to them there's the sense of all right time is passing by time is passing by why am I still here? Why is my life still not feeling like, <laughs> like it's on the right track? All right, because we have two aces here in reverse, the one right under the other. Why do things feel like they're not, it's not my truth, basically. I do also get that there's, um, There's deception here. There's, there's a lot of deception from the masculine towards, towards the karmic partner. There's, um, there's a lot of things that they have not said yet. They have said certain, some of them have said certain things in the past. They've been honest in the past, but then it's kind of like, if they're still in this relationship, they, they kind of just went back to just like, autopilot let's just pretend everything is is fine and now that is beginning to just really wear wear them out and they're 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 beginning to feel very restless or they've been feeling very restless all right um I don't know if we really need to clarify anything. I actually want to see their energy towards the feminine. And then we'll see. King of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Pentacles again, and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Um, it's interesting that we have the Four of Pentacles for both. See, this is, the, this is that fluctuation. This is what I've been talking about. Going back and forth between, um, yeah, I'm holding on to this. Let me just hold on to it and forget about the feminine. But because I can't forget about the feminine, all right, now what I'm doing is I'm going to move forward because I can't release the feminine. <laughs> but because then they don't, like, they just go back and forth between the two, all right? Holding on to the one and then not wanting to release the other. It's, it's basically the main message here, all right? Um, Again, even with the Five of Pentacles here, I feel like it's what I was saying in the beginning that there's, for a lot of them, there's been this sense of something in their energy where they're, it feels like they are rejecting you once again. Like something happens where they're rejecting you again. Um, and it could just be one thing that they said. It could be a post that you saw. It could be that you just feel it energetically. Um, it's that sense of rejecting you, but see, that's deceptive. They're not. They are and they're not. The deception is that they're this king of pentacles in reverse. That they can't come forward fully committed to you because they're still holding on here. So, they're still holding on to you, <clears throat> but trying to reject you in a way that's very deceptive. So, that's, that could be a trigger that you have either um, encountered recently in some way or another, or that is coming up for you. Let's see what else. And I'm, 
you know what's interesting is that I'm actually getting, um, for some of the feminines, this might not be true for all of you, but for some of the feminines, it's like you, you might not even really, f oh gosh, okay, it's so interesting. You do, you can see it intellectually from an intellectual point of view that it is rejection, but then you don't actually really feel rejected. That message just came through. All right, and that's just for some of you, depending on, on what, what stage you're at. And of course, the stages are not even the same for everybody, all right? Do keep that in mind as well. Um, it's like you don't even really fully take it as rejection, either because you've just accepted that this is what the situation is and you've really come to that place of full acceptance, or you just don't believe that it's rejection at a deep level to begin with. Because you, you know how the masculine truly feels. All right, so it could be either or. Um, all right, so in the second row we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse, the Page of Swords in reverse, and the Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, see, they're not letting you go. They're not letting you go, and, not, and it's like they're not... They're hiding that from you. See, the fact that they're holding on to you, they're hiding that. They're not being honest about how they truly feel. Or this is a phase that you've recently went through. And the reason why I say that is because I feel that for a lot of you, there's going to be like a small resolution of that. Like you're either going to have a communication. We'll see when we get into the future energies. But I feel like the truth will come out very soon. So for some of you, that even may have already happened. But it just, in this particular um, situation here, whenever this happened, it's like this sense of the masculine um, being completely like uncollaborative, like not even participating um, with you. So th this this will make more sense for those of you that do have some kind of a contact. It will it it feels like a sense of them just not giving any energy to you. It feels like them like pulling back, not wanting to participate, um, talking nonsense if they talk if you have that communication, not making sense. Um, it just not even feeling like it's this person and and that there's just this huge wall up and that you don't know who this is or them just really not collaborating with you in some way. Again, it's deceptive, all right? We have the Six of Swords in reverse. I almost get that this is even happening for some of you so that you can um, just fully let go seeing that, you know, they're just not participating. Like, that's just what they're doing, right? It's helping you. It's also that trigger that I was talking about that is helping you to see how you feel about it. So you can see if you have made progress when it comes to detaching and to not being as triggered. And I feel like for the most part, most of you have made that progress and if you if you feel like you haven't and you feel very very triggered like in in a way where it feels like it's a pattern you know it's okay take this as as guidance all right let's move on to the feminines although i feel like we did get <clears throat> messages for the feminines here as well but let's see, anything else that wants to come through for the Femmies? We have honesty, wow. All right, two things here. Number one, <laughs> you can sense, I feel like you can sense that the masculine has not been has not been honest, all right, which is what I was just saying. I feel, I've said this to a couple of my, um, my clients for personal readings as well, because I feel like it's a major theme right now. 
if you are in contact with your masculine, right now they cannot be trusted. You know, whatever they say, it cannot be trusted. Do not take anything that they say very, very literally, especially if it's negative. If it feels off, it's going to be off. All right, there's an issue here with, with honesty. And I feel like for the feminines, all right, and here's the second message with this, this is something that you are learning is about being honest with yourself and being honest with your masculine, all right? If you are in, if you are in contact. If you're not in contact, then it also has to do with being honest with yourself, mostly. All right, about how you feel. Because sometimes it's easy to have a false sense of detachment when it's actually a self-defense mechanism trying to convince yourself that you don't feel anything for this person or that this person is a jerk and then you hold on to resentment and anger because that helps you to detach. And it can work temporarily, but that's being in denial of how you truly feel. The whole point is to be honest with yourself and be able to detach while still acknowledging the love that you feel or you know the emotions that you feel for this person. And that's hard. That's not something that can be forced. That's not, it's not like you can just press a button in your head where, okay, now I'm doing that. It's a process. It's a process. But the more aware you, uh, you are of that goal, the easier it's going to be to, to achieve it. All right? And the more aware you are of how you truly feel and accepting of how you truly feel. Let's just get a couple more. and purge okay yeah so you might be doing a lot of thinking at the moment and that's not a bad thing a lot of this contemplation again it's like what I was saying before about the, the fluctuations back and forth thinking about trying to integrate all of these energies like doing both of these things that I was talking about at the same time which is not easy that is going to help you also to purge because it's going to bring up emotions like the more honest you are about how you truly feel and it's like you know and not wanting to play games not wanting to play games not you know um covering up your feelings with your ego like out of ego you no know, you know what i'm gonna be this way no allowing your feelings to come up to purge. So again, take this as, as guidance. Some of you might already be doing this. Otherwise, take it as guidance. Allow yourself to contemplate. That's okay. If you need to, you know, try to organize things in your head for a little bit, you know, do so. If you feel like when you do that, you just get more confused, stop trying to figure it out. Stop trying to figure it out and just allow your emotions to be present. Allow them to speak to you so that they can be re released. All right, so I'm just gonna pull a few tarot cards for you and then we'll get into what is coming up. the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, there you are. Um, see, you still feel that tie. You, you're trying to release it. You're trying to release it. Just like the masculine, what I was saying in the beginning, where they try to forget about you. I feel like that's what you have done or you have been trying or you've gone through that, but I feel like there's still that connection, all right, which is why the Six of Cups is showing up to begin with. It's like trying to release it, but you, you still feel like there's something there from the past. But whatever that is, <clears throat> you're tired of doing that. You're tired of this, of the back and forth that has happened within yourself, feeling like, all right, you know, I'm accomplishing this and then feeling that longing again and going back and forth. But what I'm getting here, the message from Spirit, is that ultimately, though, you are detaching. That's just a part of the process, all right? Just keep being aware of your emotions and of the process. 
you and the masculine, you're both so exhausted by this because it's been so psychologically and spiritually and for some of you even physically draining, all right? Purging can also be draining. But you are detaching, okay? If this, if this has been resonating with you, know that you are moving forward in the positive way. It doesn't mean that this connection will never come to be. <clears throat> it does not mean that at all. But detaching is what is going to help you to grow and to have more of that emotional maturity and self-love for your own self. Releasing control to the universe, right? Completely being in alignment and trusting that you are going to be taken care of no matter what. Let's see what's coming up. So let's see for the masculine <clears throat> when it comes to the karmic situation here. What are they moving towards? What is coming up in the next couple of weeks or so? Swords in reverse, the hanged man, and the high priestess in reverse. Okay, <clears throat> so next couple of weeks or so, they're still there, all right? They're, they're still there. However, they the masculine is feeling like the ending of the karmic situation is not as painful. It's not going to be as painful as they once thought it was going to be. And I feel like this is like a new perspective that they are taking on. They're still there, but it's kind of like taking a step back and really allowing themselves to understand it's not going to be as painful. And actually, I feel like they're going to be pretty transparent about that. Either to the karmic partner or even to you. So actually, I want to clarify this high priestess in reverse here. Four of Cups in reverse. Huh. Let me get one more. And Judgment. So this is about truth. This is about the truth um, coming out. And I feel like, I mean, sometimes a high priestess can be somebody who's not um, following their intuition. And yeah, it, it could be that, right? Because they're still staying there. So it's like, the, yeah, they could, it could be that they're not following their intuition just yet. But I, I cannot see this as a negative. It just doesn't feel negative to me at all. It feels more like, you know what, they've been holding back, like I said, because also the high priestess is right under the ace of swords when I was saying that they've been deceptive to the karmic partner, not letting them in on everything. All right, and I feel like they don't want to hold this back because it is actually coming up to the surface. And what I'm getting with this Four of Cups in reverse, yeah, they feel like they've been settling. They feel like they've been unhappy. They're going to be transparent about that. They want there to be some kind of a, of a change which they've been wanting that obviously for a long time, they've been going back and forth, but what I'm getting here is that there's just this new perspective that it's not going to be as painful. They feel like they've missed an opportunity in the past, but what I'm seeing here is that there's a new window opening up and they're either gonna take that or they're not. And that's why I'm not getting something specific because it really does come down to free will and what each of them decides to do, but there is a window coming up an opportunity for them to take action here based on truth. 
some might take it, some might not. So, and it, even if they don't, it's okay. It doesn't mean that they're taking a step back. It's just that they're in this hanging man energy, really processing a new perspective of the situation, of it not being as painful as they thought it was going to be. So it's still, it's still a step um, forward. All right. I feel like if you are in some kind of a contact with the masculine, you, you're going to pick up on this. You're going to get some kind of a hint of this. Okay, well, let's see for the feminine. It's their energy concerning the feminine coming up. Five of Cups, the Ten of Cups in Reverse, and the Knight of Swords. Huh, that's a lot of guilt here. There's a lot of guilt of having deprived the both of you of happiness. A lot of longing for the past. I feel like, you know, if they if they have gone through this phase of really like, almost like, you know what it feels like? Checking out. Checking out of the connection um, with the feminine. Alright, is the phase that they've been going through or have gone through. They want to come back because they're having a lot of longing from the past because what what they're realizing is that this checking out, having checked out, it only made things worse. It only made them feel worse. It only made them feel more unhappy. And so here's that Knight of Swords feeling very, very restless again wanting to come forward. So I feel like, yeah, there might be some communication for a lot of you based on what has been happening, based on what has been going on for your situation. Even for those of you who are not in contact, some of you might might receive some kind of a, um, some kind of communication. Give me a sec, I just dropped the cards. So actually, I'm going to clarify <clears throat> that Knight of Swords. Page of Cups and the Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah, see, so that is communication about how they feel. Um, I do feel like you, there is going to be um, communication for a lot of you. All right, and if you already are in communication, then there's going to be communication about their feelings, about what has been going on, about the past, about them feeling unhappy in the situation, in the way it is. Um, but they might, the way they're going to come forward, it might be in a way where they're not feeling very confident. All right, it's going to be in a way where they're not going to even accept. Um, expect for this to be successful and well for the most part that's because well they're still there like there's not like a huge physical change in what's going on um, in the karmic situation it's just mostly the way that they are thinking about it and possibly even communicating with the with the karmic partner about it all right so yeah I feel like I feel like that that's actually it. I'm going to pull a few oracle cards to close out the reading. Um, yeah, I can see that this reading has been 33 minutes, but <clears throat> for some reason it feels... To me, it feels short. <laughs> I don't know why. All right, let's see. What final messages want to come through for, for the feminine? And please do give me a like if this resonated for you. Give me a comment, let me know. We have peace. I'm pretty sure we got this recently as well. Keep focusing on peace, on keeping your own sense of balance, your own sense of peace. All right, I feel like this is a message from Spirit letting you know that peace is within your reach, regardless. <clears throat> All right, this also talks about freedom. And I feel like that goes for, for both counterparts. You can be free of this stress, of all of this anguish that you have been through. And the masculine 
can be free of this karmic situation and that possibility is still there regardless of whether you feel like you want this anymore or not that's that's for a later time for you to even really decide um when it comes down to that but for now it's completely okay to feel that way and to move forward like this eight of cups and release that the burden that you've been carrying from the past all right and finding that piece i will get one more Any kind of message <clears throat> for those who are watching. All right, we have two. We have passion and pleasure, savor your life. So yeah, focus on keeping your vibration high, finding what does bring you joy, what does bring you pleasure. But again, still being honest with yourself though about how you feel. And in the flow, everything is smooth sailing. Everything is smooth sailing because you are moving towards peace. All right, everything's going to be okay. All right, guys, those were the messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.